Chase, congratulations. It's a, a heck of a ball game. <laughs> what were your emotions? I, I saw you sort of running around after the game. I mean, was it relief? Was it joy or a combination of the hope? Um, yeah, I think it was more probably um, pride or, or happy for these guys. You know, Adelaide game was kind of the same story. It didn't start great. Found a way to dig ourselves back into the game, came back, took the lead, and then gave it away right at the end. And so for these guys to, you know, sack up in those moments and figure out a way to get a couple stops, to get a couple buckets, we missed a couple free throws and we still didn't let it kill us, you know, and then this guy next to me um, makes the huge shot after DJ Hogue, man, bless his heart, hit a tough one to tie it up. So yeah, heck of a game. Credit to Cans. I mean, they felt like they couldn't miss for a while. I'm wondering how we held them to, I think it was 103. It felt like they weren't score 150 at one point. It's funny, I think it was the two best defenses in the league going into the game in terms of That's defensive right. rating, and it did not feel like that tonight. Cool, what, what, what were the immediate emotions when that shot sailed through to, to win the ball game on your 25th birthday? So happy birthday as well. No, I appreciate that. Uh, man, I'm, I'm still speechless. Um, yeah, then I guess, you know, doing it against my old team, you know, just makes it even better. So, yeah, I'm just speechless at the moment. As Chase mentioned, they, they, were, they, they came at you hard. I mean, they had that 11-point lead. And you know, what got you back in the ball game? You want to take it? That's uh, <laughs> yeah, we just um, we just came out in the second half. Um, you know, just real aggressive. You know, sh showed some adversity. Um, but yeah, all credit to you know to Sean Bruce. You know, one of our leaders, just to come out and just hype us up. And you know, he he came out big time for us. Chase Bruce, he hit those two threes. I mean, he just you know to really get you back in that the ball game late in the fourth. Um, I mean, can you just talk to talk about him and, and what he means to this program? Yeah. Um... It, it felt like more than two. I don't, I don't have a stat sheet in front of me, but it felt like he made every shot he took down the stretch other than those two free throws. Um, yeah, well, obviously we were just searching for something um, to start the third. Kind of wanted to come out with halftime with a mentality or a mindset and, and wasn't really showing that. And I think Brucey came in and flipped it for us right away. Just got in the ball, gave us a little life, a little spark, a little energy, made some shots, obviously, which helped. Um, but just was a real calming influence. I think he, he kind of gave a little cattle prod up everybody else's butt to, to get their ass in gear and, and show a little pride and emotion and some, you know, pride to guard your man, things like that. We were so bad defensively um, all over the place. Just like, you know, obviously we wanted to adjust to some of their shooters, but we screwed up coverages on that. We blew our normal base stuff. We were never protecting the rim. It was just a disaster defensively all over the place. I think Brucey came in and just settled us down a little bit. He, he created some havoc. Um, and he just, yeah, it was clear that the whole second half we were just following his lead. 57 points off the bench and seven guys in double figures. What does that say about your depth, particularly on a night when you know, Tim Suarez was in foul trouble, only played the five minutes. Derek Walton, probably a little quiet by his standards, but the depth of this team. Then you have Jalen Galloway coming up, coming up big for you. Uh, particularly in the second half. Yeah, Derek was, was good for us at moments in the first half, and I think just had six assists on the, the box score. But if we're honest, I mean, it was the, the local guys who, who really brought it home for us down the stretch in, in the second half. Um, it was pretty much, you know, all our imports sat most of the second half, and, and our locals really, you know, get nutted up and got stops when we needed to, made runs when we needed to, found ways to make plays down the stretch when we needed. It was just, it was fun to see, you know, like you said, Jalen Galloway, a guy who tough timing to start the year in terms of injury. He was having such a good preseason, and I was, we've all been really excited about what he can give us. And just with the timing of coming back from injury, it hasn't worked out for him to get a lot of opportunity to come out tonight and be ready and, and to play the way he did was, was really good to see. And cool, uh, just finally from me, the, the crowd at, at various stages was trying to sort of pump you guys up and in Cairns it hit a big shot and the, the energy would go down. But how big was that crowd in the fourth quarter really powering you guys on? Uh, yeah, you know, like our coach Chase, um, you know, he just made sure, you know, we're, we're all right. He always told us we're all right. Um, you know, there's still time on the clock. So, you know, anything could happen. And, you know, what happened at the end, you know, it was just all written. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Matty. Chris, you're up. Yeah, Colot, um, it's been a really tough couple of years for you, and you're able to build some confidence in your in your NBL one season, and 
you've brought that into, into this season and, and you're really finding your feet. Can you just talk about, after everything you've been through, what a moment like this does mean to you? No, nah, it feels great. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of ups and downs the past couple of years. But um I always you know, just kept on working, kept on, you know, coming in day in, day out and just try to prove myself. And, you know, I'd like to thank Coach Chase, you know, for believing in me and just putting me in the right positions, you know, to go out there and perform. It's never been about your ability, it's just about if you can stay healthy. Is that why you've been able to stay I guess so confident in, in your own ability that you just knew that if you get your body right, you can come out and and do what you're doing right now? Yeah, definitely. I had a great off season. Uh, definitely worked on my body. Um, even to this point, to this day, I'm still working on my body, just trying to get stronger. Um, but man, we've got a great um, strength and conditioning staff here in Sydney Kings, and you know they're doing whatever they can to you know to make sure I'm best on the court. Credit to him. He's done a lot of work to to shed some weight and to give himself the best opportunity to stay healthy this season. And um, I think he's really thriving being in our environment. Um, keeping himself in the best shape. So, great job. Yeah, Chase, following up on that, what did you like about what Kuwait could offer when you when you signed him? And, and I'm sure you, you're not surprised what he's delivering now. He's probably giving you exactly what, what you were expecting. You know, he's someone I've, I've actually been familiar with since I was coaching the G League, and he was coming out of college and, you know, evaluating players and someone that excited me, obviously, can do a lot of different things. He has a, a size and athleticism and ability to score the ball that you don't see very often, I think, in, in a lot of – just in anyone. And he, he's got a nose for the rim. You know, we called the last play before the one that he shot um, for him just to put his nose in the rim, go draw a foul, get a bucket, because he can do it really well. You know, one of the strange – you know, there was about 500 collisions tonight and only 50 foul calls. Um, it was one of the most physical games I've seen for a 200-point NBL game in terms of – free-flowing scoring, but they, you know, they called 50. They could have called 150, all the grabbing and holding, and these guys just played through it. It was, it was great to see. And just lastly from me, Chase, it's a bizarre trend that road teams are going so well in the NBA right now, and you've been, you know, key, key to that as well. Is it a relief to get a win, to get a win at home? Yeah, I mean, it was staring us down the face. We might go six weeks, you know, before between opening night and our next even home game opportunity to win one. So um, definitely our fans have been so great, especially since I've come on. They've just supported the heck out of us. Tough year last year. And I mean, they just kept coming and coming and coming towards the end of the year. And um, it's been awesome to, to see a lot of the same faces back. And now, you know, to be honest, three great games now, or four, four great games at home. We've split two and two, but in terms of value for money, I think it's pretty good. Obviously, we haven't come out on top as much as we would like, but um, yeah, it was fun to see the guys not give up and to keep rewarding the fans for staying with us and to, and to get a win at the end the way it was. You know, what a fun night for a lot of people to come to the game. Yeah, Chase, um, throw us forward to the Breakers next week. I mean, they're a little bit like Cairns and they're kind of surprised. What do you see from them and what do you need to do to stop them? Yeah, I mean, obviously they're they're an aggressive defense. They they like to get out and claw and, and get into you just the same way Cans does. So we'll have to be you know stronger with the ball, more mentally strong, playing through the grabbing and holding and things like that. But um, more than anything, I think they're a contrasting style to us in terms of they're going to slow it down and plot their way through the game and and try to keep it low possessions. And obviously we're the exact opposite of that. So. It'll be an interesting clash of styles, and, and we'll see how it plays out next week. And what do the celebrations look like tonight for Kawhi's birthday, boys? Yeah, it was terrific. Uh, you know, it's hard to script or even write storylines quite the way the game played out tonight. And um, for him to do it on his 25th birthday against you know his old team, what a what a fun way and to, to see the guys celebrate around in the way they did. That was a lot of fun. Kawhi, you taking the coach out tonight or what? I got to go watch film. He's got to go have fun. He's got his own birthday. <laughs> Thanks, James. Thanks, guys. Happy birthday. Thanks.